Welcome to DFACS, a publication of the DAction Project of Grassroots Health. We are bringing you very specific vitamin D information for your health. Today we have with us Dr. Carol Wagner from the Medical University of South Carolina, who has just been working on a study about pregnant women and their babies. And of course, they also have a study in progress on lactating women. And today we're gonna to hear about some of the very exciting results from those studies. Dr. Wagner, thank you so much for coming. Oh, thank you, it's my pleasure to be here. And we always love to hear good things about vitamin D, and I already know that some of the information is outstanding. Well, thank you. We, we are really excited about it. Tell me, from your standpoint, what one or two of the most exciting pieces of information are. Well, the first, probably the most important, um, was uh, to give women up to 4,000 international units, and we found that it's safe and effective in raising their levels. Uh, much more so than what we find with 400 international units. And um, in this randomized control trial, women were randomized to 400, 2,000, and 4,000 international units. So we found that they're safe. The 4,000, both 2,000 and 4,000 were safe, and um, also lowered uh, rates of infection and preterm labor, preterm birth. Two things there I want to highlight, uh, or confirm anyway. The 400 international units is currently what is recommended for pregnant women, is it not? It is, and it was thought for decades to be the effective therapy. Yes, and what did you find with 400? 400 is an inconsequential dose. Fantastic. I mean, just, just that alone, knowing that the 400 isn't going to cut it. It's not enough to make a difference. Okay, one of the things that you mentioned um, was that there was a significant reduction in various instances of during the pregnancy with the 4000 IU. You mentioned what some of those things are, please. We looked at a number of factors, mm -hmm. uh, we call them variables, that would potentially have been affected by vitamin D, okay. such as infections, any infections, preterm labor and or preterm birth, diabetes, preeclampsia, uh, hypertension. Right. So all of those, uh, of all of those factors in these very healthy women, they had to be very healthy mm -hmm. to be in the study. There were 350 women who completed the study, 510 women started the study, and they were randomized to these three treatment groups. What we found was lower rates of overall infection in the 4,000 international unit group, uh, lower rates of preterm labor and preterm birth. And then when we looked at all of those co comorbidities that I talked about, mm -hmm. we found that the rate of those uh, basically um, adverse events during pregnancy mm -hmm. were half uh, in the 4,000 IU group compared to the 400. <laughs> that still makes me smile. I just can't believe, I mean I can believe it, but it's like that is an enormous difference. Did that surprise you? Yes, it really <laughs> did. <laughs> we, we were really, our main goal was to show safety. Yes. And so we were, um, the word equipoised throughout the study. We were blinded to the treatment group. And okay. so we, it was locked away in another, in another building. And um, it's only recently that we've been able to have the data from our you know, data, yes. data an analyzing group. And so these findings are really, I think, a, a small revolution. I think they're a big revolution. I really do. Because if, to me, from my point of view, and you, our listeners out there, if we can prevent disease starting from birth, that gives that human being a much greater power throughout their whole life, does it not? Exactly. All right. I have another question about the, um, the different treatment groups and the serum levels. Our panel, which you are part of, recommends that we have between 40 and 60 nanograms per ml as a target serum level. What did you find as a measured serum level with these people that were better off? So in the 4,000 international unit group, um, we found 
uh, the level was around 49 on the mean level. And in the 2000 international group, and this is nanograms per ml, mm -hmm. um, it was about 42, and the 400 group was below 30. Fantastic. Which is not surprising. Right, right, right. So part of the real message, the real take-home thing now that you would recommend very securely to any pregnant woman is? That she needs to have her level checked. That's number one. Sure. And number two, uh, on the basis of uh, our findings, we're recommending that pregnant women are prescribed 4,000 international units a day. And uh, if a woman is a sun, sun bather and, uh, or goes to a tanning bed, that sort of thing, and she has a level that's you know, easily in the 40 to 60 range, then no, she wouldn't need supplementation. Sure. And that's why it's important at this point mm -hmm. uh, to get levels because you know, maybe in 20 years when we've studied hundreds of thousands of women, we'll know and we'll say yes, of course, under these circumstances, but right now, um, we recommend levels, and we think... By recommending levels, you mean recommending a testing for a yes, level, right? Yes, exactly. Okay. Yes, sure. thanks sure. for clarifying no, that. And, and 4,000 okay. international okay. units a day. Talk. And again, thank you very much, Dr. Wagner, for coming. Absolutely. And for all this exciting information, and thank we'll be you. talking with you more. Thanks. Thanks, and thanks to all of you for coming. You can find out more information on our Grassroots Health website, www.grassrootshealth.net.